the foundation of this film has the original film, so mm -hmm. it is very nostalgic. You recognize everything that you see, but there is a little touch of modernization. So how mm -hmm. are your characters different in this film? Well, I guess, you know, the simple answer is when you put a human face to an animated mm -hmm. face, you immediately are going to have more depth, even if you haven't thought about a backstory. But we did. We had lots of time and lots of collaborating with Bill Condon, and we talked a lot about our story and, you know, like the fact that Gaston was a war hero and he protected the town at some point in his teens and late teens, and LeFou was there. And then so we've had this sort of... I'm not quite sure what LeFou was doing. I'm not that, sure, but he is in one of the period. pictures, isn't he? Didn't he is in one of the pictures. He's in one of the murals, like, but maybe he put the please I think he painted it. Yeah, he's like, he's like, I know I wasn't there, but I could really use the attention. <laughs> uh, you know, for LeFou, it was it was actually a great opportunity because the character in the original, so much of it is defined by the conceits of animation. So he's got his teeth knocked out. He's got animals sitting on his head. You, you know, for me, it was just about making the character richer, more dimensional, and giving him a, a really nice arc so that he's... In the original film, he's sort of a blind follower. And in this one, he comes full circle and sees that their things may not be what they seem. And that was nice to play. He's kind of smarter. He's much he's, smarter. We said in the original film, he's sort of dumb as a box. And in our film, we wanted to make him dumb as a fox. Meaning he's like one step ahead a little bit. And sometimes yeah. more the, ahead than Gaston. So more, and more ahead than he lets on. Yeah. Much more. I mean, within the first two minutes of both of our characters being on screen, he's insulted me twice without even me realizing it, you know? And that's brilliant because the, the dynamic fluctuates from the straight guy each of us play the straight guy all the way through it, you know, one at a time. And it's I love that about the, the characters because Gaston is really thick at points in this film, like really thick. Beauty and the Beast was one of my favorite Disney films growing up. I think I watched it, I don't know, like every Saturday. Yeah. I put in the VHS into my VHS player and watch it. <laughs> but watching the movie it was just such nostalgia and I had this like massive smile on my face as I was watching it, which I never do because I watch movies all the time. Mm -hmm. But it was I was just so happy the whole time. So what was it like when you're on set, you are Gaston, you are LeFou, you're singing these very like traditional, very um, classic songs. I mean, literally, like yeah. pinch yourself every day, because for us too, it was a it was a classic. Like it was a movie that defined, along with Aladdin, Lion King, mm -hmm. and Little Mermaid, my childhood. So to then bring life to one of these iconic characters and sing the you know Ashman and Mencken songs that I grew up with, it's it's a dream come true. You, you know, camera crews they, they really smile. They're on, they're on the set before actors arrive. They're on the set after actors leave at the end of the day. They work very, very hard. To see a camera crew smile when you're doing your scenes and seeing them laugh and giggle and be entertained by what we're doing was actually very rewarding because, you know, it, when you can, you can crack that, that tough exterior of a camera crew because they're actually watching us and laughing at what we're doing, I was like, okay, we're doing something right here, you know? There was a joy that came to the set and it was... It, it sort of infused everybody from Bill Condon all the way down to the dresses and hair and makeup and everybody was just in, happy to be there, you know? And everybody was doing everything in their power to not clap and sing along. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's the other thing. It's like, we're making a movie that everybody knows the songs to. Yeah. So they're all like, I want to sing. It's like a Pavlovian response. Mm. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Made in Hollywood TV. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. And for the next awesome video, click right here. Click in that box right there, right there. Super easy.